information for the Milwaukee County Transit System, Wisconsin Policy Forum, they released a study today, and it shows MCTS might have a, f a fiscal cliff in less than two years. Our Brett Lemoyne joins us live now with the plan to try to keep the buses moving. Yeah, and this was an independent study, and the outcome was quite clear. Something needs to happen soon, and researchers say it should not be cutting roots. It's pretty bleak. Denise Wantke doesn't want this to be Milwaukee County Transit System's last stop. We obviously need some sustainable funding. Wantke is MCTS's president and interim managing director. She's been with the company for nearly three decades, starting as a bus driver, working her way to the top. It's somebody's lifeline. It gets them to the doctor. It gets them to the hospital. Cuts are top of mind after Wisconsin Policy Forum released a study Thursday showing the transit system's economic outlook. President Rob Henkin says, a deficit of nearly 26 million annually in 2025 and more than 40 million by 2028 is possible. Ultimately, they will need either greater financial support from state government or at least uh, authorization to pursue alternative revenue sources. Henkin says ridership declines, federal pandemic aid that's dried up, and local fiscal restraints all contributed. Wonky says MCTS's budget has been frozen for a decade. She says every cut that's already been made to routes and buses whittles away at ridership by forcing people to find alternatives. When we look at, well, we have 10 buses on this route. Well, we can pluck one out, but then what happens is that person standing on the bus stop that got used to waiting, you know, 12 minutes for that bus is now waiting 22 or 32. Wanke says ridership has increased the last two years, but it's still far below pre-pandemic levels. Staying on this financial path is a route MCTS doesn't want to take. And we just need at least to have enough money to maintain the service that we have. And you can read that full report on fox6now.com. There you'll also find a statement released today by the chairwoman of the Milwaukee County Board of Supervisors. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Brett Lemoyne, Fox 6 News.